guys. This is my 2009 Kawasaki Brute Force 750 4x4. This is EFI, meaning it has no carburetor. It's fuel injected, so it should start nice in the winter. I'm very excited. I've been saving up a very long time to get a four-wheeler. Even Grandma bought me a helmet in preparation for this last Christmas. And I'm really excited to ride. This is a Kawasaki. Um, it's very sharp. It looks mint condition. I bought it because it everything works nice. The brakes work nice. I checked the tires. The bearings work nice. And look at these tires. These are custom tires. Oversized tires. And they're, look at how much tread I got all the way up to my knuckle here. And custom Everything looks super nice on this. Look at the shocks. Everything looks really nice. It's got a light bar, which will be awesome in the nighttime. And then I got a Badland 2,500 pound winch on it. I want to get a plow so I can plow the driveway, but this is 749 cc's and it's very powerful. Here's the winch in and out. And you, as you know, guys, we got logs. We got woods. I can pull, skid some logs with this. I can do all sorts of things. I'd like to get a plow to be able to plow the driveway. And I'd like to be able to get a tow hitch and maybe find a trailer I can haul some firewood in out of the woods. But this is almost twice the size of my dad's rancher. And I think the top speed I saw online is 73 miles an hour. But that's not what this is going to be used for. I'm going to use this for work purposes and... So I'm very excited. Now, what there is, there's a very minor thing, is when he took off, the owner who I bought it from, when he took the plastics off to install the winch, he broke some clips, which is no big deal, because uh, Dad has some in the garage I'm sure I can just use. And these are cup holders, so you can put your gloves in, your phone in. And I got two pockets on either side. They just mount here and here. And it also has a minor oil leak, which I hope is no big deal. And you check the oil and it's full. I bought some 10W40 oil and an oil filter last night. This is full on oil, but pretty soon it's gonna need an oil change. And I wanna get this fixed before I ride. Um, this is the oil leaks just leaking up here a little bit and it's dripping it's dripping on the trailer as you can see my fingers wet but that's it there's no other problems hopefully everything looks clean look at the shocks i'd like to you know as you can see there's a little spots where it could use paint on the racks i can take this off paint the racks um it just needs a little washing and it'll clean right up and all right, what I was really excited about is this has a screen, and if I turn the key on here, it's got a fuel gauge. It shows how fast I'm going, and see, I'm in four-wheel drive. It's got two-wheel or four-wheel selectable drive up here, and it's got the time. It's got a trip, so you can set a trip, and it's got a fuel gauge, neutral, reverse. It's got a high and a low range, neutral. In reverse and it's got lights high beam low beam um, here's my lock my brake lock and then here's my front differential control and then my throttle so I'm gonna start this up guys and I'll show you here oh I also got a 12 volt power outlet here and I can plug my phone and and I can put it in my pocket once I get these clipped on so that's pretty cool as well so let's start it up
very nice machine and I'm not going to ride any longer. Stay tuned for my next video. I will be fixing this up and then I can go and ride. Stay tuned guys. See you in the next one. Stay tuned for part two.